Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you for being here. We're starting with the uh, Angel Answer Oracle card. This will either answer your question at the end of the reading or become part of the reading or both. Let's see here. Four, three, Sagittarius, two. Okay, wait, I'm getting a four in my head so I gotta do it again, sorry. Three, whoa. That car was fate. Car. Card was face up. Wow, if I could shuffle cars, could you imagine how big I'd have to be? Okay, so. Romance angels. Whoa! Excuse me, Sagittarius. Okay, so two cards hit the floor. I'm going to take the one that was face up. And Sagittarius, you got... Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Now, until I get the tower cards, I'm not going to say how to read this because this could this could be anything from they are lying to you. And there are three people on there, you know, insinuating that there is cheating happening. But it could also be you lying to yourself. We've all done that. It'll work. I know it can. I just have to do this. I just have to do that. And we sometimes make excuses to save ourselves the reality of ending a relationship. Let's see here. Whoa. Okay, then. That was quick. And I did shuffle the cards beforehand, said. So let's see what you got. Interesting. Because you got deception, but then... There's a, there's an offer above. Someone younger than you. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like these go together here. So, Sagittarius. I have issues with this Five of Pentacles because the way they're walking to the Page of Cups, I almost want to say that you're walking to a new relationship, which is very messy. Something's messy. Someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship. So, wow. You could be, po oh, so now the Page of Cups, now it could be someone who is, uh, like I would say, court cards are people. I apologize that I am stumbling over my words but I feel like there's a jumble in my head and I almost feel like there's confusion. And I originally I was gonna say that, and, and this is possible still that you're dealing with a water sign possibly, Sag, um, who is younger than you. Um, you know, just that, pardon the expression, but he has kind of a cocky little attitude, you know? Like I can do this. But then you have the five of pentacles, which is walking away, which is walking to this younger person. So I'm not sure if the deception is that you are, um, uh, if you are dealing with a third party situation, like you knowingly maybe are the person doing this, or maybe you were doing this and uh, maybe you were involved with it and you believed, see, when it comes to deception, that, that's the lying to, to ourselves or the other person. And it could be that you are walking away from one person and choosing the younger water sign. Um, but you would be walking away because you feel left out in the cold from the other person. So let's see what the other cards are. Interestingly enough, there's a, a new offer. You got the Ace of Pentacles. A new offer with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is... You've been to the battle, you know what the deal is, and you're prepared. So you're ready to do this. So I want to say that yeah, this is exact. Oh, now it makes sense. Strange when that happens. <laughs> Not that it makes sense, but when it comes to this deception, is that you are walking away from this younger water sign. If it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. Could have water in their chart, doesn't necessarily have to be their sun sign, could be their rising sign. You are walking away from this water sign, but what's happening is that you are ready 
to offer your love to someone else. I think that's what this symbolizes. The Ace of Pentacles is ready. It's to me, I'm I'm thinking it's on the pedestal and it's ready for you to take and move on. So there is an offer and you've been through it because if you've dealt with this deception and the nonsense that goes with it, the seven, oh, it's the seven. Was I saying the nine? I hate when I do that. But either way, you've won. You've gotten to the top. And that to me means winning in this situation in a passionate situation that involves the Ace of Pentacles means that you've made the right choice and that maybe what you've done is you've chosen the other person. Because you've either chosen the other person or you've walked away. I got to get some clarity here. Boy, this is a little, I want to say befuddled. <laughs> Tonight is a weird night of words. I'm not sure if they're making sense to anybody. I hope they are because right now to me, I have said these four words that I would not normally say. Yeah, what did I say? That you are walking away from the page, the, the young page, the young water sign, and uh, choosing a the other person, offering them, and it would be a win. And I was right, because you got the 10 of cups. So if you're dealing with somebody in a water sign, the other person is your 10 of cups. So here. Tell us about this person who is the Ten of Cups to Sagittarius. Tell us about the Ten of Cups person. Ah, the Ten of Cups person. This person is older than you, more traditional, and tends to be rather independent. There's a very independent energy, which Sagittarius that also could be you. The emperor, I believe, is associated with Aries. So you could be dealing with another fire sign, which would make sense. You know, I know some people say that two fire signs don't go together, but I know some relationships that are two fire, they get along very well. Um, so, okay. So your Ten of Cups is possibly an Aries who is older than you, Sagittarius. So, wow. So, Knowing the deception is not a bad thing. It allows you to help make your choice and leads to wonderful things for your future. Oh, how perfect. What was your question? Because I think this is part of your reading. Let go. Yep. Let go of the page of cups. Let him go. Because look at all that happens after. Look at that. Your wings, you're able to spread your wings. I almost want to say that the emperor allows you to spread your wings because he's not going to hold you back. He's he, he is independent himself. He knows what it's like to be a strong, independent fire sign. Man or woman, doesn't matter. So let go of what's holding you back. Let go of what's not serving you. Choose to walk away. And that's it. Sagittarius looks great. Starts rough, but ends well. That's not too bad. So thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.